Hey, Nelson County Schools. So excited to be here on our first episode of the Now Playing series. Woohoo! Yay! Um, so, this series is basically going to highlight a digital tool a week in a five to 10 minute video. So, we're super excited about this series. Um, just another way to get these tools in the hands um, of you all and then of our students. So, today we're featuring YouTube, and I absolutely love YouTube when I was uh, teaching in my classroom. I taught fourth grade and it's the now, it's current. Um, it's what the kids do when they pick up their devices. And so we need to incorporate that into instruction um, as much as possible and get, uh, get them using YouTube uh, for good educational reasons. So um, we're gonna do a quick uh, navigation, just real quick of the home screen. And so one thing that I do want to point out, and I know I know many of you all are YouTube users already, but if you do want to change the notifications, you are more than welcome to change notifications. Um, you click on your picture, and when you click on your picture, you will see the settings wheel. Click on that, and then you can go over here to the left-hand side, and you will see notifications. And you can look through here. Um, comments and activities are a lot of a lot of different ones. Also. Um, you can get updates right here. You can get updates um, from your the channels that you subscribe to, like when they add a new video and such. So I like to do I like to have that option. Uh, and so let's go ahead and look at um, the channels. So what's really cool about YouTube is the fact that it actually integrates with the G Suite. And so every student that has an email, every staff that has an email through G Suite, which is everybody in Nelson County Schools, um, has their own channel. Now, a lot of people do not know that or do not use that channel, but for personalization and differentiation and all those good terms in education, um, it's a great way to achieve those. And so let's look. So on the left hand side, you'll see where it says my channel. You'll click where it says my channel. And now if this is the first time that you have clicked this, it will say, um, are you sure you want to create a channel? And this is who the channel will be under and you just click create channel. It's very simple um, setup. Then you will be prompted if you want to, to change your theme or upload any pictures or anything like that, add a description, um, so many different things that you can do. You'll see the settings wheel here. You can actually um, change privacy and things like that um, in the settings wheel. And, um, but one thing that I really like about this is that I see everything that I interact with on YouTube, on my channel. So anything that I've uploaded, anything that I've subscribed to, anything that um, I have created, such as the playlists, um, I will see on my channel. And so it's kind of like my own little YouTube page, I guess if you wanna call it a page. So we're gonna go through, um, the basics of um, how to create a playlist. And there are actually two different ways to create a playlist. So you'll see where it says created playlist. So these are the two that I've created so far this year. Um, but to create a playlist, what you'll do is you'll go up to, this is the first way, you'll go up to the video manager, you'll click where it says video manager. And then once you do that, see here are my screencasts that I've already made. However, you may not have those, which is fine. Um, but over here to the left-hand side, you'll see where it says playlist. You'll click where it says playlist, and then you will see up here where it says new playlist. And you can add anything, any videos that you have, um, you have created or other people have created to these playlists. So you would click new playlist. You would go ahead and title that playlist. So I'll title mine example. And then I can also um, change privacy on this. So public means that it is searchable um, when someone just searched YouTube. Unlisted means that it will give you a link, but it's not searchable. And then private means that it, you, only you can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one public and create. As for my students, I usually leave it unlisted because I wanna be able to see it, um, but not necessarily searchable on YouTube. 
Uh, and then you'll see where I can add videos. And when I click add videos, it will actually take me to um, my videos if I want it or, or it'll take me to any videos. So like, for example, um, I really like Kid President. So I'm going to click Kid President and you'll see they all show up. I like the pep talk and then I click add video. And now this playlist has the kid president uh, video in it. You'll see that it's also the playlist has popped up here along with my other playlist that I've created. So that's one way to create a playlist. The other way is if you actually go to the video, um, let's see, kid president pep talk. I can go to the video, pull the video up, when I pull it up, you'll see right here, there's an add to button. I can click add to, and here you can actually create a new playlist, or you can just, hey, I wanna put it in my example one. And um, so that's totally, that's totally up to you, um, how you do that, whether it's way one through the video manager or this way where you're actually searching and things. Um, so that's the playlist. Now, as for subscriptions, um, let's see. So subscriptions, any type, like I really like, like I said, kid president. So I can click the word subscribe. And when I click that, now it is added um, to my subscriptions. Those, so these subscriptions are usually based on the most frequent videos that you use. Um, and let's see, it's like taking forever. So, um, but they will show up, they will show up here as you add subscriptions. So once again, just the opportunity to personalize your YouTube channel. Now, as for uploading, uploading videos. So you do have the option to upload videos if, and this guy stays up here no matter what screen you're on. So you'll just click the upload button. When you click the upload button, um, you can drop files, photos, um, you can create photo slideshows if you choose to. I got wind that the video editor is actually going, they're going to be doing away with it in September, so I'm not gonna talk much about that. But one thing that I absolutely love is that um, with your kids having access to the G Suite, Google Photos is a part of that, and it's actually in um, their drive on the left-hand side. I know a lot of people don't use it, but here it is right here. So they can upload their photos to their Google Photos and access Google Photos anytime they're signed in to their G Suite account. But what's cool about it is um, Google Photos, and I know this is not a session on Google Photos, but Google Photos will actually create videos for you based on your um, like where you're at or who's in the videos and things like that. And so you can actually import videos if you choose to do so. And then you'll see also this is where um, you have access to live streaming uh, where the outside world can see in. So that was a lot of information <laughs> in a short amount of time. I hope that you guys will utilize YouTube as it is open to all students now and um, use it for those great instructional purposes. So here's my little tip. My tip is the fact that um, in this world, we are surrounded with a ton of information, but there's some great information out there on YouTube. And the way that I use this in my classroom, that was definitely a game changer last year, was the fact um, that kids, let's say we were doing a unit on figurative language. So students had a playlist called figurative language. They created a playlist called figurative language. And then as they came across videos that they really enjoyed about the different um, pieces of figurative language, they would add it to the playlist. And what a great review that is and a great resource for them. So just a really cool way to utilize YouTube in your classroom. We'll see you later.